Hey guys, welcome back to channel. My name is Kirti Shuyas and in this video, we are going to discuss about why you are not getting that much CPC which you saw somewhere in paid keyword research tool. Just for an example, if you have searched for a particular keyword, best hosting, and the uh, href is a tool which is actually showing you a CPC of $15, but whenever if the user are clicking the ad of that particular post, you are not getting $15. So what is the reason behind it? Where to check the exact CPC and how Google AdSense plays the ads of on your website? That all and everything I'm going to explain here. So if you're monetizing your blog using Google AdSense, then stay till the end because I'm going to reveal here the insight of how Google AdSense works so you can better plan your future post and keyword research. Anyways, guys, if you're new to this channel, uh, do subscribe, like and share as much as possible. So I will keep making more and more videos without wasting time. Let's go to screen there. I will explain first to compare and to check where you can check the exact CPC. So here we are on the screen, guys. And there you can see what I've done is guys, I have opened my website mrvsidea.com. I checked here a complete keyword list, right? So I'm checking here a particular United State and this is a keyword and this is what tool is suggesting a CPC of $40. So do you really think the actual CPC of this keyword is $40? Similarly, you have a different table for this keyword. The CPC is $10 for this keyword. The CPC is $8. But guys, the reality is these tools, whatever CPC are showing is not an updated CPC or I should say not a correct CPC. Same case guys, if you are using this Uber suggest again, the CPC which is displayed there, these are not the correct CPC. So how to check and where to check CPC? First of all, guys, if you're not sure what is CPC and all that, you must have to check out my previous video that I explained about all the Google AdSense terminology. But just for brief guys, this is my post on this post. You can see here a multiple Google AdSense set. So CPC is something like if somebody will click to this particular ad, then how much Google AdSense is going to pay you. That is known as a cost per click. The cost which actually Google AdSense charging to advertiser so that you will get money. That is something called as a CPC. Now guys, the most important thing you have to understand Google AdSense is a product of a Google and Google has made his own platform that is known as a Google keyword planner. Okay. And in this keyword planner, people are bidding it. Google AdWord people are bidding for a particular keyword and whatever the amount they are bidding that is going to, or that is going to set as a CPC. So how to check it guys, you must have to come here in a Google AdWord, then come to tools and then select to the keyword planner. You will be on this screen on this screen guys. You have to come here, choose your country, choose your language language and type your keyword. So what I will do is guys, let's take here an example of one of the keyword best place to park domains. If I will copy that keyword, come here, paste it here. Now simply get results. As you will click to guys get results, that will display us the result. And the result is for this keyword, the actual CPC is in between seven pound to 11.86. So what I will do is guys, I will come here and just type here 11.86. And then you can see the actual CPC of this particular keyword is somewhat around $15.24. That is the actual one. But the HREP is showing us a CPC of $15, which is closely similar. But no, this is not an exact. That's what I would like to sell you. Now, guys, what I can do is I can come to here and then I can type it here. Best place to park domain. So you can see here, this is showing a CPC of $0, but actual CPCs exist. So here my point is, guys, do not believe on different, different tool. If you are really concerned about CPC, then directly go to Google Keyword Planner. Now let's go and check another keyword, guys. And this time what we can take is another keyword. There are different keywords. So let's take in a keyword of overload uh, review. So what I will do is I will come back here, change this keyword, cancel this and paste that keyword. And let's see this time what exactly the CPC and you can see here, guys, the CPC is a nine pound. I will come here, just type in nine and then see the actual CPC of this keyword is around $11.5. But here in this tool, it is telling us just $5. So you got an idea. There is always mismatch in between what CPC displayed there and what is the actual CPC. If similarly, guys, I will paste that keyword over here and simply search it there inside of this. You can see the CPC is around $7, but the actual CPC is still there around $11.5. So guys, this is the difference of CPC and how you have to check your CPC. I hope you got a good idea. Now, the second point is even you have targeted that keyword and you are expecting to get that much CPC if somebody will click to your ad, but still you are not getting why how Google AdSense work. That way, guys, what I will do is I will explain you how Google AdSense works. So the important thing is, guys, whatever the ads placing here depends on two factor. So the first factor is 
what this post all about. If this post is all about dropshipping store or overload, then obviously Google AdSense will place the ads related to that. But sometimes what happens is guys, not Google AdSense all the time placing related ad, but sometimes it placing the ad based on the uh, user's browser or a cache history. Let imagine since morning, I'm searching something about uh, flight, how to book flight from this to that location, best flight from this to that location. In that case, if I will come into this post and check about this particular post, then you might see here different ad other than dropshipping and the ad could be something related to uh, flights and uh, different, different websites, right? Where you can book the websites. Why? Because Google AdSense also check what exactly user are browsing and based on this, it start uh, placing there. So you can see here, this is somewhere related to overload, but this is different deal, right? Wholesale deal. This is nowhere somewhere related to that. Similarly, you will, you will scroll down guys, the similar differences you can see here. If, let's take, this is an hosting ad, the hosting post. So you can see it as a hosting ad, but this is a different, this is something banking related ad, right? And now if you will scroll down guys, banking and hosting are nowhere related, right? If you will scroll down there, this is a different ad. This is not related to hosting. This is related to somewhat about a Grammarly, which is a free extension to correct your sentences and something, right? So this ad is different. But what you were thinking is, if I have targeted this post, which has a CPC of $15, if somebody will click to this, you must get $15. But no, the Grammarly is a different keyword. And for this keyword, the CPC could be less or could be higher. So I hope guys you got a good idea how Google AdSense work. So my personal suggestion is always focus on keyword difficulty instead of keyword CPC, because you don't know what ad will display then why you are wasting your time in finding CPC. That is something which I really wanted to share with this video and I hope you enjoy this and you keep learning on this part. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, share as much as possible. That is all for today. See you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching this video.